13. Woo! Absolute value bit. Find the x-intercept, the y-intercept. What do we know is true? Well, here's what I know. If I'm on the x-axis, if I'm crossing the x, I don't know. I've moved over some amount, but I do know the height is what? Zero. The y-value's got to be zero there. So I know whenever I'm finding the x-intercept, the height is at zero. The y-value is at zero. Same if I'm crossing the y-axis. I know I've moved over none. And again, I don't know how much I've gone up or down. So I do know there that the x value will be zero. All right, let's do the y-intercept first this time because it's always the easiest. So we have f of x, which is just y, is equal to 2 times the absolute value of 0 minus 1 minus 8. All right, no big deal. 2 times 0 minus 1 is negative 1. Absolute value of negative 1 minus 8. Well, what's the absolute value of negative 1? 1. So it's 2 times 1 minus 8. 2 times 1 is 2. And then 2 minus 8. Don't know where the 8 went. 2 minus 8. Negative 6. So this is crossing at 0, negative 6. I know that's where that absolute value is crossing. Do remember, an absolute value is a nice little V. So I do know that that guy's crossing at 0, negative 6, wherever this guy happens to be. The x-intercept, okay, x is a little bit more difficult. I have to set this piece equal to zero. So I have zero is equal to two times the absolute value of x minus one, take away eight. I gotta get the absolute value by itself. So I'm gonna move the minus eight over to the other side by adding eight to both sides of this equation. Eight is equal to two times the absolute value of x minus one. How do I get rid of that multiplying by two? I'm gonna divide by two. I now have 4 is equal to the absolute value of x minus 1. Now, we need to solve this. Do we remember how to solve it? Well, if you think about it, <clears throat> the absolute value of what gives you 4? This right in here has to come out to be a positive 4, or the answer has to come out to be a negative 4. So, we set the x minus 1 equal to the positive piece and the negative piece. Solving this, 1, 1, 5 is 1 piece, add 1, add 1, or it could be negative 3. That was a 3. So 5 or negative 3. X being 5 or negative 3, so we come back here. 5, 0, negative 3 was the other option, 0, right? 5, 0, negative 3, 0. Let me double check myself. Yes, 5 and negative 3 were our x values. So there we have it. It's crossing at 5, 0, negative 3, 0, and the y-intercept is at 0, 6. All right, square root, no big deal. Again, we know the y value will be 0 here. For the y-intercept, the x will be 0. So I start off set 0 equal to square root of x plus 4. How do I get rid of a square root? come in here and we square it. So we square both sides. Zero squared is zero. When you square a square root, it disappears and you're left with just x plus four. Now I'm minus four from both sides. Boy, I got my x pretty quickly there. X is negative four. So this crosses at negative four, height of zero. Y is zero. Now for this guy, f of x, which is the same as y, equals the square root, square root, of x, which is 0, plus 4. 0 plus 4 is 4, and what's the square root? 2. So this crosses at 0, 2. And there you have it.